don't really hear a lot of people talking about like that aftermath <laughs> of the entire transition of going from single to getting married. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and notification bell so you don't miss a single video. So I know I've been gone for a little bit. It's been a, a couple weeks since I had posted a video. I wanna go over more about uh, why I took a break from social media and the importance of uh, taking a break every once in a while and catch you guys up on some of the things in my life. I also wanna talk about the transition from going from a single to becoming a wife. But before we even talk about those two topics, I want to open up my Timu package. I got another Timu package, guys, and I am, I'm so excited. You all know how much I love me some Timu. I got my water cup from Timu that I use literally every day, and some other items, like my uh, Apple Watch charger and my salt and pepper shaker, all these other items from Timu that I literally love and use every day. So, Timu, shout out to you, Timu sent me another package and I'm like, you know what, I gotta do another Timu haul with my community to show you guys all what I got. So let's open it together. All right, ooh. So I got a thrust belt. This belt can be used for more than just hip thrust. You can use it for hip bridges, squats, you name it. Here is my full body fitness Pilates bar. Now, whenever we can't go to the gym, I can use this to get my exercise in. Woo! I'm definitely so excited for my spa headband. It's great so that way your hair can stay out of your face while you're washing it. Oh my goodness. And they have the wrists for the wrists as well because water just keeps dripping down. Yeah. Here are my biker shorts. Yes, I got them in different colors. I have black, and it has a little space for the booty. I have a gray and I have a green. So definitely gonna be wearing these. <gasps> yes! I am so excited. I have my calluses remover. Yes. And it comes with a charger, so I can charge it. Here are my leggings that I got from at Timu. Again, we're in the fitness theme. Ooh, these feel so soft. I just love this type of material. So I got pink, I got like a purple, I got a beige, a gray, black, and green. So I have so many different options for the gym. And for whenever I work out. Love it! I'm gonna be in style in the gym. Ooh, I got some dumbbells. Because again, sometimes we just can't make it to the gym. So it's nice to have dumbbells. So I like going for a walk around the neighborhood. So I can like be like those ladies who like walk, do power walking with dumbbells. <laughs> Get my exercise in. And these are three pounds, so it'll be very nice to do my walking with these dumbbells. That's what it looks like. I have a yoga mat. I love the color, pink. Those are all my Timo items. I've been really getting into the gym and get my fitness on, so y'all know that Timu has literally anything you can think of. Household items, they have clothes, they have fitness stuff. So whatever you desire and need, they have all those items at an affordable price. Like you literally cannot beat 
Timu item. Before you order, make sure you go to my description box below, click that link to download the Timu app to get a $100 coupon bundle. Or you can search my code on the Timu app, DKU4569 to claim. Go ahead, get your Timu items, and I promise you, mm, you would not regret it. As I was saying in the beginning of the video, I actually took a break from social media. It was like a mini break, but it was long enough to be like, okay, where is she at? You know, it's a couple weeks now, especially when I've been so consistent with filming content and posting on YouTube and things like that. I wanted to talk about this on a video because just in case there's anybody else out there who is in that same position where they're gonna get married or they're thinking about getting married or they're just like getting into getting married and dealt with the whole wedding process. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about like that aftermath <laughs> of the entire transition of going from single to getting married. It was very, very much exhausting. I compare it to, it's like when you're running a race, if you've ever run before. I used to run cross country, so I used to run like six, seven miles at a time. I compare it to that because in in that moment when you're running, you don't really feel it. You're you're kind of like in the motion of it, just like oh oh boom boom boom. Uh, it's not until you stop. Even when I ran the 800 or the 400, any race I run, um, it's not until you stop till you feel everything, and that is kind of how it was. Plenty of wedding. I've seen so many people, so many girlies out there, who. We're like, oh my goodness, after the wedding, um, I felt like so sad because it was like that glorious, <laughs> that glorious feeling, but planning a wedding just, it was not glorious for me. It wasn't, I mean, I enjoyed, it was work. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this. Planning a wedding was a lot. You already heard the whole planning a wedding journey and I definitely could have leaned more on my husband to help me out more. But when it came to the wedding, I very much was, I needed to be hands on. Like I wanted to make sure things went a certain way. And you guys already know that I also own two businesses. I do real estate and I also co-own a property management company, both very demanding. I, mean, I woke up to real estate drama and it was like nonstop. I thought that it was all over after the wedding. But little did I know that whole name change, that was a journey. <laughs> Changing my name personally was very easy, but because I changed my legal name, I had to change my business name. And because I changed my business name, I had to change the bank. Because I changed the bank and the business name, I had to change the payroll system. So it was literally like a domino effect of changes that I needed to make and it was extremely exhausting and cumbersome to go through the entire name change process. It took me a month and a half to complete the name change with business and personal. So that took a lot out of me. <laughs> so it was between coming off of planning for the wedding Coming into the whole transitioning with my name, and then real estate has been a lot, and then property management has been a lot. <laughs> so I was like, you know, Becca, you literally came off of those two things and you went right into continuing the film, and you didn't give yourself a break. Like, I haven't got myself, gave myself a break um, since this whole thing. So that's why I decided, you know what? I need to take two weeks off just to like recharge. I did a lot of sleeping. Also what I noticed when I pumped the brakes and started like coming back into like taking a break, I did a lot of self reflecting and I noticed that I had slowly, I had slowly without realizing stopped taking care of myself as much as I used to. And I realized that I was putting a lot of energy into everything else but taking your energy away from myself and i started feeling really depleted i stopped taking care of my skin taking care of my hair taking i just stopped taking care of myself and i felt extremely depleted so in my break i realized i needed to do a better job with self-care it was a wonderful break like i 
did so much thinking. So the main things that I focused on during my break was, like I said, self-care. I decided that I really want to have a signature look with my hair. I also decided that I wanted to stay on my nice routine of like getting my nails done, so I'm always looking polished, especially because of the fact that I work in real estate and I, I'm on social media. To me, it's very important that I always present myself in a presentable manner. I came up with a nice routine for my face. I started waking up a couple hours earlier, so that way I can give pour into myself a couple hours to slowly get ready to my face routine, which I'm going to show you guys in a separate video my different like routines that I'm now doing. So I developed a hair routine, nails routine, face routine, skin routine, makeup routine, fitness routine. I'm gonna start focusing back on myself and doing what I need to do to evolve Rebecca. You know what I mean? I'm really excited that I'm on the journey of taking myself to another level, taking my routines to another level. It's great. Anyways, I just wanted to come on here and just explain to you guys about why I took my break, what I'm doing now to take care of myself. I feel so refreshed. I feel so refreshed and happy and ready to conquer the world because at the end of the day, if I am not pouring into myself, then I can only pour out to others in other areas of my life for so long before I start falling apart. So I have to remain my number one priority, my mental, physical, emotional, all my well-being, so that way I am recharged and energized to pour into others. Hope you guys enjoy. You'll be seeing more videos now. And um, yeah, comment down below any video ideas that you wanna see from me. I am very open to feedback from my community. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging with your girl. You know what I'm saying? You guys are writers. You are writers. You guys are all writers. And I appreciate you so 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 much i am so blessed to have a community that is here for me and growing with me if you want to continue following me along my journey of life make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified whenever i post a video all right i will see you guys on sunday